All right, Two Down Gaming back again with another unboxing video. Today, I'm with Brian. Say hi, Brian, and don't you dare say hi, Brian. <laughs> hi. This time, we're going to unbox the Dark Souls 3 Collector's Edition game, which Brian has here with him, and as well as the Estes Flask Edition Strategy Guide. The pre-order we got with it, the pre-order bonus, was the Bonfire Keychain Replica, which is made of a very hardened metal, so it's very durable. I'm not too sure I would use it as an actual keychain, though. I left mine sealed. Brian, I'm assuming, is probably doing the same thing with his. Yep, I'm leaving mine sealed. So, there we have the keychain. Let's go ahead and jump into the game itself and see exactly what we got in this thing, shall we? Yep. Pick that sucker up and let's go. Heavy enough? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> All right. We have a whole list on the back, but we're going to ignore that. We actually want to dig into this thing and see what's going on. Uh, if you're in the big box, you got the statue there. I can guarantee that. Yeah, we'll go to the small side first. Number one is... The Dark Souls Trilogy, The Art Of. We have an entire little book here filled with just art after cover art, or not cover art, but you know, it's art nevertheless. Just piece after piece of the entire world of Dark Souls. It is front to back, beautiful, just gorgeous artwork of everything you've probably ever seen in any Dark Souls game. And I remember those little pricks in Dark Souls too. <laughs> yeah, same here. And this thing is just wow. That is some... That's some really good artwork. Yep. Right, so we'll switch that out. Set that down here for people to take a look at. What do we got next? And then there is, of course, the game with the Day One Edition cover art to it. That thing just slides right off. And, oh, look. Still Day One Edition. <laughs> So wait, does that make it a day zero since it's a double day one? I don't know. Possibly. <laughs> well, it's Dark Souls. It doesn't matter. You're going to die either way. Yeah, prepare to die. And then the Steel Book Case. Very nice. It's got a bonfire on the front, and it looks like... That's either the Lord of Cinder or the Red Knight on the back. I can't tell which it is, honestly. I can't either. But the bonfire is actually engraved all the way through to the inside. That is really nice. Yeah, that is pretty cool. And the soundtrack for this game, I do believe we would have to open this sucker up. And I lost the knife completely. There we go. Ah, well, now you're just a single day one. Yeah. <laughs> all good. <clears throat> yeah, we have Arm Yourself with Knowledge Dark Souls 3 Collector's Edition Game Edition Guide Includes Which, you know, we didn't get that We got the big stuff yep. We're packing the heat <laughs> And then with this as well We also got the Prima Prima, Prima, I'm not sure how you even pronounce them really because I've never used guides, but it's their little quick start guide. I think it's called pronounced Prima. Prima, okay, there you go, Prima. Don't be <laughs> such a Prima. And as well, you also get the game and the soundtrack included inside the main case itself, which to me is a little bit of just a, uh, kind of a letdown because I was hoping the soundtrack had its own case in there. That way I could put it up on display, yep. you know, never have to open that thing, much like I did with my Demon Souls one. Right. It's just the fact that they put it in there to me was a little bit lazy on their behalf. They could have done something cool. Yeah, they could have done that a lot part. better. I mean, just the fact that it's, you know, bam, on the backside there and you got the cover art or the, uh, you know, little guides and stuff over top of it. I appreciate that they put it in there. I really did. I, I wanted the soundtrack, but I'll never listen to it. I just wanted it. Nah. They could have made a then, nice little case for it. Oh, right here. Alright, so we got all that. And then, while we're pulling the next part out, I will throw down 
It's a nice little metal case there, and let everybody take a look at that. And what do we have up here next? The cloth map of the entire world of Dark Souls 3. Not exactly a hard thing to open. Oh yeah, check that out. It's definitely cloth. You want to unfold that and let's see what it is? Yeah, definitely cloth. I do believe it's a vertical one. Yep. Yep, it is vertical. So yeah, we got a really nice cloth map there depicting the world of Dark Souls 3. It's not high detail or anything, but then, you know, I mean, how are you going to depict a 3D world? You know, every area that you're going to be in in the game on a little bitty cloth map. Yeah. Nevertheless, it is very nicely detailed. Uh, it's more of a black and white feature than color, but I'd say that really offsets it according to, you know, like seeing other cloth maps that I've seen in the past that were in color. Yeah. With this thing having very little color to it, it is just, it's beautiful the way it is. Yeah. I think they made a very good choice at leaving the color out of this thing. Yeah, and the cloth was, I think, pretty neat that they chose to do cloth. Oh, yeah, that's nice. I mean, you know, the companies that go the route of just the basic little, uh, like, cardboard ones or... The flimsy paper ones. Yeah, the flimsy paper ones that, you know, they get wet once and they fall apart or something... Yeah. This this is going to stand up for years to come, more than likely. Yeah. I mean, I can't guarantee that, and I'm not going to be held accountable for it if it doesn't. <laughs> By no means, don't hold me accountable on this if your cloth map disintegrates on you. Not our fault. Yeah, definitely not our fault. But, I mean, this thing is beautiful. I, I love the fact that they included this. That is a great find, right? That's a great have, something that you're going to want to keep and probably put up somewhere. Oh, yeah. All right, what do we have next in there? Ah, the Lord of Cinder statue. That's enough of the metal case. Stop looking at it. There we go. Wow. Yeah, this thing, um, I mean, it was originally thought that this thing was going to be rather small, but it is by no means small at all. Definitely not. And that's probably the only time in your life you'll hear a man or a woman say that size doesn't really matter. But, you know, <laughs> even with this thing not being as small as it was originally thought to be, it is, even through this plastic that I'm looking at, look at that, even through the plastic, that thing is beautiful. Yeah, that's very beautiful. And it looks like the swords do come separate in here, so it's one of those that you put together. <laughs> oh, and there's another piece of tape down here. I was hiding. Get off there! Maybe. That was another piece of tape. I'm going to fight for a freaking week with this tape. <laughs> well, we got to make sure. It... You want to pop him out of there and I'll grab the swords? Should just lift right up. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Instructions. Yay. For the people that can't figure out swords. All right. We have the swords in. both See swords. Like. And, you know, we'll just take a quick look at the instructions here to make sure that we don't hijack this thing and screw it all up. <laughs> you have to remove the pommels from the sword, or each scimitar as they're calling it. Yeah. And then slide the handles through. Reattach the pommels to the ends. Oh, simple enough. So, pommels should come right off. Yep, pop they pop off. right out. And we just slide it through his hand. For God's sakes, do not lose the pommel. <laughs> that would not be good to lose that little bitty thing. Nope. If you can get it back on. Oh, I can get it on. Get it on like Donkey Kong. All right. There it goes. There is scimitar number one. Mr. Red Knight, you are a pain in my... Well, I'm not going to say that next word. <laughs> I refuse. I this is either one of the Red Knights, or it could be one of the Lords of Cinder. No, he is the Red Knight. Right. It, right it actually stated that. I guess it would make sense. He's got yeah. a red cape on. There you go. Now you're thinking. Makes sense. Turn it right side up there. 
there we go. We now have a Red Knight statue. Much... Uh, that is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. I thought that thing was going to be you know, like this tall. Yeah. I thought it was big. a little dinky thing. I didn't yeah. think you'd have to put the swords together. Yeah. And, and be this big. Yeah. And look at the base to it. The base alone. I mean, just the rocky texture to it that they gave it. Yeah. It, it really makes the whole statue just pop out and come to life like it actually came straight from the game. The whole detail of it. I mean, even the back of the helmet, you know? Yeah, the helmet. They put a lot of detail on the helmet. The helmet, the cape, how it's separated from his arm and everything. They didn't the do... The tears in the cape. Yeah, they didn't do a really crappy job on this. They took their time on this statue, went into every detail to replicate what the Red Knight is in the game itself. Yeah. And they I'm just that. curious on how much of a badass he's going to be in the game. Yeah. <laughs> You know, they're pushing him so hard between the statue and the little pop figure that you can get. It, it makes you wonder if the Red Knight's going to be a boss in the game, or if he's just a random encounter badass you're going to get throughout the entire game, much like the uh, Pursuer was in Dark Souls 2. Yeah, the uh, Pursuer was relentless in Dark Souls 2. Watch, that'll be the new Pursuer, the Red Knight. <laughs> He'll just randomly show up and whoop the ever-living crap out of you for no reason. All right. That is, I, I just, I'm sorry, that is a beautiful statue. And I mean, it's not flimsy in any way either. Mm -hmm. The arms, yeah, they could be breakable. I could see that. But yeah. honestly, anybody that's buying this as a toy, you know, they need to be smacked with a great sword. They really do. You don't buy this kind of stuff as a toy. This is a collector's item. It's decoration. Yeah. And I mean, if you switch it around, Put it up to you, can, off. you can even see the belt notches going yeah. around. To hold his cape. Yeah, I don't know if they can see it through my lower quality camera, but over here, there actually is belt notches going around him, and you can see the entire belt all the way around this guy. His chainmail armor underneath, on his arms, and around his waist area, even underneath in the armpit area, you can see the chainmail underneath his actual armor, all the way down to the Freaking the legs. legs where his boots start at is chainmail armor. Every little detail on this thing is just amazing quality. I'm sorry. Here's your statue. I just I can't get enough well, of that thing. Well, well, this is like what exactly that where he can like maybe. What's no, those what? are just, that's the shin guards. That's all those are. Uh, I guess in the ages of what when Dark Souls would have taken place. On their armor was shin guards and knee guards, just much like you would have, you know, the the breastplate to guard your uh, chest area. Yeah. You would have it for your knees and your legs and your shins. <coughs> oh, excuse me. They did a really good yeah. job on the detail on the shin guards and the swords themselves. Oh, too. yeah, everything just has very, very good detail to it. You can even see some of his, un underneath his stuff by his neck. Yeah, and I just looked a little bit closer. Look up in here, mm -hmm. and where else did I see that at? Right here on his armor. You can see battle damage on the armor. It's got, yeah. like, nick marks from swords and stuff. Yeah. Just amazing quality on that. Amazing. Uh, if you're a fan at all and you didn't get this, you're not a fan. Go back to bed right now. You're, just, you're not a fan if you didn't get this thing. And if I hurt you, if I offend you by saying that, go back to bed. <laughs> all right. Up next, are we all done? You were just complete with the game now? There's nothing left in there? Uh, I don't think so. Stick your head in it. Find out. <laughs> Go swimming. That's we'll get fun. this stuff out of the way. Are you wanting to rebox any of this, or are we just going to pack it out when we're done? Uh, yeah, um, that's probably just a little stopper down in there. Yeah, uh, we're done with the game. All right. But I'll just <coughs> pack it out when I'm done. I'm grabbing a drink of my Frappuccino. <laughs> Good idea. I'll have some Dr. Pepper. <clears throat> Alright, we'll leave him there for a little bit for people to admire while we start on the Estes Flask Guide. Oh, yeah. Right, starting out, what do you what do you think about this thing? I mean, just the box alone. It looks really nice. It, it's like a chest that you open, but it's made out of wood. I was really hoping they were going to go with, like, the coffin style. Yeah. I thought that would have been really awesome if they had went... You know, like the uh, coffin you jumped into at the start of Dark Souls 2, and I believe back with Dark Souls 1. Yeah. There was a coffin you had to jump into on Dark yeah. Souls 1 to get to a boss fight. 
Yeah. Been um, a while since I've played Dark Souls 1, but... Gravelord Nito. That was his name. You actually had to get into a coffin to go fight Gravelord Nito. Yeah, I forgot about that. Nito, Nido, whatever. I don't know. He was neat either way. Who cares? Close enough. Nito. Yeah, the box, I mean, it's cardboard, but it's solid. It, it's yeah. well made. We pop this thing open. We've got a lot of freaking bubble wrap in here. <laughs> Please, kids, refrain from popping bubble wrap when people are sleeping. Yes. All right. First thing first, once you grab one of those out of there, and we'll check check it out and see what exactly we have. Oh, look at that! It's an auto seal. Awesome. It's actually got a bit of a magnetic strip to it on both parts. That way, when you close it, it's closed. You don't have to worry about it. Styrofoam. Styrofoam. Not a snack. Don't eat it. Set that thing back down there. You having some difficulty there? Yeah, got my finger stuck in the hole. I don't recommend that. That's a guy problem right there, getting your finger stuck in the hole, all right? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like we have an Estus flask. The Estus flask. Here we go. Switch out. You do something with your red knight. This, I mean, you know, I've already seen complaints online about this thing before the game even came out. I seen one guy crying like a little baby because he wanted to put orange juice in his Estus flask and make it look like he was drinking Estus during his live stream. I'm sorry, but with how big this thing is and the quality of it, I mean, it's even got a darker shade down one side of it than it does the others. If you tilt it, you can actually look through the light and see the darker area. Yep, sure can. Why would you I want mean, to ruin it with orange juice? But the thing is solid. Yeah, why would you want to put any kind of a liquid into this? Right. That's a collectible. Look, it's thing. even got a ding in it down here. Hmm. It is meant to look just like the actual Estus flask from the game. Hmm. Why anybody would want to ruin something like that by putting liquid in it, I do not know. Hmm. But I mean, it's a really good size yeah. for starters. Oh, yeah. I mean, I originally thought, you know, Estus flask. The one in the game the dude holds in the palm of his hand, and it's barely the size of his hand. All right. You see the top of it sticking out of your hand when he drinks it. This thing, you know, it's more than just the top. And I've got pretty big damn hands. All right. But that is just, that's a really nice size. The only flaw to it I could see is down the corner, or down the side here, you can see where it was put together. Yeah. Not a huge deal. You know, you're not going to get perfect on everything. No. Don't be complaining and whining, you know, that you spent $130 on this thing expecting perfection. If you want to whine about perfection, try beating the game without dying. Then maybe you'll have a reason to cry about this. That's perfection. Yeah, that's perfection for you. If you can do that, you've got me beat. I won't even bother trying to invade you, all right? You just <laughs> let me know and show me proof that you did that, and I'll leave you alone. All right. And you Up can't next. put any liquid in there anyway because the top seal. Yeah, which they probably did for good reason because they saw that they figured out that people were going to whine about it. Yeah. Like, let's just solve this right now. We're going to seal this thing up. All right. All right. Item number two out of our box of mystery is... Oh, you got two items there, you cheater. Oh, stuck in it. <laughs> I'll hold that one here. What is this one? The Dark Sign Journal. That is, indeed. That is the Dark Sign Journal. Now, this is not an actual journal from the game, you know, that you can read through and it shows you everything from the game. It is a journal of blank pages. Right. This is for you to take notes about the game. Although I'm not really sure why you would. Why would you ruin this collector's item by writing in it? I understand that it's just blank pages, but still, right? That's a collectible. Yeah, why would you? I'm not going to write in mine, I know Did that. you get enough of this? Did you? Did you? Want some more? All right, you're done. <laughs> there is the nice little dark sign journal. Seriously, people, if you got this, don't write in this thing. You never know what these are going to be worth later. Yeah, to give it 10, 20 years? Not even that. I mean, look, yeah. Demon's Souls hasn't been that long ago. Yeah, 2009. Yeah, I think it was somewhere right around there. And the... The collector's art book with the soundtrack CD alone is worth a couple of hundred dollars now. 
just for that little art book with the soundtrack CD. It's That's only, it. It's only been seven years. Yeah. Seven years out of that one. And then you had Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Bloodborne, now Dark Souls 3. This stuff seemingly only goes up in value. Right. I have yet to see a Dark Souls item really drastically drop in value, except with maybe the, you know, given of Dark Souls 2. Like, the PC collector's edition on that thing, it its value just plummeted hard. That's because people don't want to deal with the cheaters on Dark Souls 2 on PC. Right. <coughs> oh, man. Cheat codes. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to have a holes after this. <laughs> All right. Our next item. Next item up for bids. Tell them what they won, Vanna. <laughs> that, that's actually really nice. Really good detail, too. Should we show it to them? I don't think we should. It's too good an item. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you show them what it is? All right. Should have picked door number one. <laughs> we have a bookmark. Of a Dark Souls 3 sword. It's actually supposed to be a replica. I mean, it's not huge in any manner, because they did design it to be a bookmark. It's yeah. exactly that. It's not going to be sharp. I, I could actually see you poking your eye out with it. Quit playing yeah. with it. Bad. Don't poke your eye out. And definitely don't poke my eye out. Yeah. I mean... The detail up by the handle is amazing. I mean, yeah, from the tip all the way to the pommel. <laughs> even though it's mostly flat, this thing has some really good detail to it. I mean, you can see the engravings up through here, how they're faded. Mm -hmm. On both sides, they are faded, so it's intentional that it's like that. The wear, mm -hmm. just down the start of the blade there, it's got dings and chips down the side of it. Like it's been through battle. Alright, first of all, it's a Dark Souls sword. If it hasn't been through battle, there's a problem. Yeah. I mean, you are intended to use every item you pick up in this game. Or anything you can get your hands on. Yeah. If I have to, I'll pick up a dead enemy and throw it at him. I don't care. If you can. If only, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just pick up the corpses and throw them. Yeah. Yeah, that's really nice. <clears throat> I mean, that we're not going to be able to just leave sitting there, but I will temporarily hold it here. Don't expect me to sit here for an hour holding this sword for you to see. I'm not going to do it. If you want, you can pause the video right here and just make me go quiet for an hour if you want to sit here and stare at this thing. But that's the end of that. Right. I will be nice and let you go ahead and open that up and grab our next item while I'm holding this for them to see. Alright. A free guide. A free guide. We got a guide. Why do we need a free guide? That's stupid. It's the free e-guide. Oh, wow. Yeah, of course, the e-guide. That's why people are subscribed to my channel. I'm the free e-guide. Right. <laughs> Next we have the Collector's Edition Strategy Guide itself. Now, is that just a sleeve over top the actual guide? Yeah. It is a sleeve. Take it off. Ah, look at that. Yeah, hold it up for him to see that. Oh, can they see it from here? Yeah, they should be able to. Go ahead and pull the sleeve back over so they can see the difference. I mean, the sleeve isn't, like, you know, super quality or anything. No. It is just a sleeve. Yeah. So, you know, not a big deal. You can leave it on. You can take it off. Either way works. I'd probably Save leave the, mine on. Yeah. <laughs> Save the other part from getting dirty. Yeah. From dust. Very much so. And how about the back of it, though? You're done with the sword. Deal with it. Back of the sleeve has, looks like, just the, his shoulder. Oh, so it pretty much is... You don't mind if I open it, do you? No, no. Go right ahead. That's, it's really just him. It's the Red Knight from the helmet up here at the top to, to his shoulder, shoulder back here. Part of his arm. Yeah. And he's got... So it's a nice sleeve. Yeah. And he's got stuff coming off of him. Particles, dust. Ash. Ash. <laughs> Whatever. Don't make an ash of yourself. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever's coming off of him. Yeah, it's got watching enemy animations, boss mechanics, pulling, healing in battle. This is... Just about everything you need to know. It has maps of the areas. That's that's good for a Dark Souls game. You're going to want to know where everything is. I mean, even with this being, you know, in two-dimensional, mm -hmm. you can depict where things are going to be. I guarantee it. Oh, yeah. 
I won't know because I'm not using this. <laughs> Mine's going to stay in its box, not to be used. Yeah, very nice. I mean, it's got details on everything. Bonfire, Distant Manor. I'm not, I'm not going to give too much away here. I just want to kind of thumb yeah. through some pages. Uh, Arch Dragon Peak. Oh, yeah. Now we know there's dragons at least. I'm sorry. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <clears throat> there is your lovely strategy guide that comes with it uh, I'm assuming it might be different for the regular collector's edition I'm not too sure I didn't get a chance to really look at one of them I mean I did see them but all I seen was that they had a piece of cardboard behind them and those I believe the regular collector's edition came with the paper craft bonfire we did not get that but you know who really cares it's paper Yeah, we got the Estus flask. We got the rep this replica sword that can be used as a bookmark. Not that we'll use them. Well, you might, but I won't. I mean, these between the two of these, you're just you're packed down. You got hundreds of hours of gaming ahead of you. Oh, yeah. A whole freaking book to thumb through. And if you got both of them, you can even do like me and go bam. It's all right here. Did you even notice that through the entire video that it's all sitting right here? You got the flask. The Dark Sign Journal, everything, has been right here the entire time you've been watching this. Paper bonfire. Mine was already opened. We were unboxing Brian's. <laughs> yeah, even the paper bonfire. I mean, you know, I'll be nice. <laughs> the paper bonfire. It's not, you know, it's not durable. You get this thing wet and it's going to just fall apart. <laughs> but it is kind of a nice little miscellaneous thing to have if you're a person like me that likes to have a collector's area. I took all my other stuff when I heard that this game was coming out. All of it went down to my man cave in the basement. I went, I'm done. The rest of this stuff, all gone. Man <laughs> cave it goes. This is now my Dark Souls area. Plain and simple. And I'm going to go all the way back. I'm going to try to predate it all the way back to Demon Souls. I'm going to collect stuff from all the way back then that's collector's items. I'm going to try to get the statues and everything all in this area. Which, I really don't know how I'm going to manage that, considering if you look back here, this place is packed. Yeah. I've got some posters up here that are from GameStop. I got them from them. And then the cloth map over here, yeah. which we already showed them from yours. The Red Knight statue. The Red Knight statue. And if you missed this stuff sitting here, you were paying way too much attention to us. Especially <laughs> me, because I was yakking up a storm. So, if you didn't notice them... I'm doing a damn good job of keeping your attention. I can tell you that much. Exactly. The only thing they can't see back here would be the actual strategy guide because I left mine in its box. Yeah. Never even pulled that thing out. I took everything else out and left that sucker in there. Yeah. All right. Are you done with my bonfire? Can I save now? Do you mind? <laughs> we even got the Red Knight pop figure back there. Yes. Right. Yes, I did get that as well. Oh, Although so that didn't come with the collector's edition. No, guys. no. These things, uh, I believe the Red Knight pop figure is ten ninety nine. Yeah. I got mine at GameStop. Uh, you got one as well, didn't you, Brian? Yep. I yeah. got mine at GameStop. Yeah, we both picked one up. These things are ten ninety nine. Again, if you're a collector, it's a nice little tidbit to have with your collectible stuff. Oh, yeah. Especially if you're a huge Dark Souls fan like we are. <sighs> Definitely. Definitely. I mean, I, I don't know how long you've been at it, but me since Demon Souls on PS3. Well, I've been at it since uh, the first Dark Souls. Dark Souls 1? Yep. And what'd you play it on, though? If you say PS3, I'm going to smack you for not playing Demon Souls. <laughs> You're going to say PS3, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I am. Remind me to smack you later. I'm not going to do it on camera because then there'll be proof. Okay. <laughs> Knife not included. Right. But yes, this is, in its entirety, everything you would get with both the collector's game. And we're not talking the $399 one. All right. This was the $129.99 version of the collector's edition. The $300, or the $399, it was actually $400, I do believe, came with the Lord of Cinder statue, which would have actually stood off of this footstool. Uh, compared to that Red Knight, I think he was about that tall. So, I mean, the sucker was freaking huge. Yeah. He would have been nice to have. Yeah, but even being the fan that I am, I am not spending $400 on that. Now, GameStop is even selling just that statue for $400. Wow. 
Yeah, you can actually go into GameStop and tell them you want to order the Lord of Cinder statue, and they can get it for you and have it shipped straight to you for three ninety nine ninety nine. I seen that and I was like, no, uh-uh, not happening. I, I've already spent enough money on this thing. I am finished. Not doing it. But just think how nice he'd look back here. You shut your mouth. <laughs> you shut up. Stable. Don't even try talking to me into that. It's not going to happen. Uh, so I think we got everything. Uh, if you want to see it right here, actually, I do have the bonfire keychain opened. Don't worry. I still have one that's sealed. I, I just have this one to show as an example of what they are when they're open. You can use it as a keychain if you want to. I mean, it's it's good. It's quality. It's hard. Which a guy should really never say. Right. Yeah, it's hard. That doesn't sound right coming from a guy. No, they don't. But yeah, if you pre-order this thing at GameStop, that is what you got was that bonfire keychain. If you pre-ordered the big versions that we got, you just seen everything you're going to get. And the which, SS Plus Guide Edition was $129.99. Yeah, so I mean, between the two of them, we got the Collector's Game, the Estes Flask Edition Guide, and the Season Pass, which ran us damn near $300 just for the three of those. Yeah, I think, I think my receipt said, like, $310. Yeah. So $310 for everything. The season Pass, the Collector's Edition of the game, and the SS Flask Strategy Guide. Edition. Yeah, 129 129 and 24 99 yeah. So yeah, you're looking at a little bit of money if you wanted to get all this stuff. Plus, if you wanted to throw in the Lord of Cinder statue, yeah. another $400. Yeah, no, not going to happen. I'm sorry. I, I love the game, but I can't afford it. Oh, it would too, but that would have broke my bank. <laughs> oh, it would have broke more than my bank. It would have broke my neck when my wife found out. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, Ouch. if you want to go ahead and send me the Lord of Cinder statue... By all means, send away. I'm not going to object to it. <laughs> you can send one my way, too. But if I tried to buy that thing, my wife would most definitely object to it. <laughs> and it, like you said, your bank account would. Yeah. But anyway, we are finished for now. We're done with this. We showed everything we could possibly show. We have sufficiently made a mess of my living room that I just finished cleaning. Man, this sucks. I hate this. I'm going to have to clean again now. That's Dark Souls. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the unboxing video. <laughs> You know, drop a comment. Let us know what you think. Uh, if you didn't manage to get the collector's game or the Estes Flask guide, I'm sorry. I mean, they were very, very limited, especially on that guide. We yeah. were the only two people in this town to even get that guide. Yeah, because they were sold out the very next day. Yeah, by by the time they GameStop opened the next day, they were gone. Yeah. It was like that one day span. They got them like noon or around there, I think it was. And by the time they closed that night, just. Gone. They were all gone. Everybody missed out. If y'all didn't get it, you're SOL. You bent over and took it. I'm sorry. <laughs> End of story. You bent over and took it. Accept it. That's part you, of life. Yeah. If you did get both, consider yourself very, very fortunate. Give yourself a pat on the back for that one. Hell, have somebody else give you a pat on the back. Yeah, exactly. And then turn around and make fun of them because they didn't get it. <laughs> You know, no, just, you don't got to be a prick like me, really. You that's, just, that's just mean. <laughs> yeah, right? Anyway, we are out of here for now. Yeah. We, we have said quite enough. We have went through hell and back on this. So go ahead and say your piece, man. We're out of here. <laughs> uh, it was a lot of fun. Yes. A lot of great stuff here. They did a really good job. Yes, they did. Couldn't have got a better collector's edition on both. Well, you could have if you want to spend the three ninety nine oh, on the Lord of on the Lord of Thunder. Yeah. All right, well, we're out of here. Have fun, and I'll see you next time. Don't forget, if you enjoy the videos, come back again by subscribing to the channel. You'll see it right after I'm done talking here. If I ever decide to shut up, you'll see the button to subscribe. So go ahead and click on that. I'll be here again next time. I'm going to start doing the Dark Souls three guide. That's your e guide right there. You're going to be back for that. I know you are. Drop that subscribe. Come back all the time if you want. I won't say no. I'll welcome it. Drop a comment down below the video if you want to. Let us know what you thought of the unboxing. Let us know if there's something you'd like to see in the future. I'm always open to new ideas. I try to listen to what the people say. I'll see you later.